Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're going to be talking about Destiny 2. Now specifically, we're going to be looking at Guardian Games, the trailer, and the TWAB that came out for it. Now, I'm going to have to apologize in advance if I start to devolve into negativity and essentially just talking shit. I have tried to make this video a couple of times and it always devolves into just Eververse and the event itself that I don't like. And I'll go through a few things here and there of why I think the way I think, but we're gonna talk about the trailer and then the TWAB and then the everything else. So the trailer itself is cool. It's it's really cool. Like, let's get it out of the way. Bungie always knows how to make a good trailer, which is why I never really give the trailers any uh, weight in whatever I think, because again, they make really good trailers. They made pretty much every season look really cool and most seasons have not been really cool like even the season of the worthy trailer looked fire and we all know season of the worthy is like the worst season we've ever seen so take the trailer with a grain of salt it might not be like that but one thing i did want to highlight is the fact that at the end of the trailer we get to see the hunters and warlocks versus the titans which i thought was pretty funny i wonder if this year if the hunter or warlock win is it going to be like replaced with like the warlock is going to be the one we're up against and the titans and hunters are going to be like against them type thing so i did find that funny so tab time last year we received a lot of feedback on how the overall scoring worked you can read through this post for a refresher but the tldr is we had a class specific score waiting to account for the differences in, cl in class population we did this to make sure that hunters didn't have a huge advantage because of well how many hunters there are this year won't be doing any initial weighting on the scoring. Everyone's points will count the same at the start. How the scoring will work this year is bronze equals one point, silver equals two points, gold equals five points, and platinum equals 15 points. On top of that, each class that gets third place each day gets a permanent 10% bonus on scoring going forward. So, here, let's talk about why I'm not the biggest fan of this change because it's gonna basically devolve into hunters are gonna get first place throughout the whole thing and warlocks and titans are gonna be able to get that 10% boost. And then at the end of the guardian games, it's most likely gonna be warlock and titan going up ahead with hunters going at the bottom because we don't have any bonus. We do have a lot more people, but at the end of the day, if you're getting 100% more bonus points from all of that, it's kind of hard to like really say anything about that. So again, I'm not expecting the Hunters to win. I don't expect the Hunters to win maybe next year. If Warlocks win this year, then Hunters may win next year. But again, it does not seem fair. But at the, at the same time, you can't really say it's fair if the points are going to stay the same with no 10% bonus because, again, hunters have an overwhelming population. So even then, at that point, it won't be fair either. Again, I just don't like the Guardian Games like idea because it's not fair at all. Like Hunters are by far the highest population with Titans and Warlocks. I don't know who's the lowest or who's the highest, but it just it will never feel like a fair win. Don't, it doesn't matter who wins. If Hunters win, people are just going to say, oh, it's because they have so many more people. If Warlocks win, and if they're the lowest population, which I don't think, I think the Titans are, but if Warlocks are the lowest population, people are going to be like, well, they're the lowest population. There's no way they could have fucking won. And the Titans, oh, well, obviously Titans won because of in in introduced excuse here. So I just don't like it from its like from the idea of Guardian Games. Uh one cool thing though i will say is that we are getting a new playlist for the strike playlist and essentially you're going to be able to pair up with other guardians of the same class so instead of last year where we had people basically fighting for laurels or having like two titans with one hunter or two warlocks with one titan now you won't see that because all of your class or all of your teammates will be your own class which is great i think that really does incentivize the whole competition aspect of it but i think it's the the winning like i think my problem is like who wins and who loses if we didn't have that and we just had the competition i think it would be really cool because it would inspire people to really go out there but i can probably tell you right now that 
Titans are going to go into this really hard. They're going to try to win this again. Uh, Warlocks, I don't think guys are going to give a shit. And I don't think Hunters are going to care enough to like do it. Because most most likely a lot of us are gonna just gonna be jaded. We're gonna be like, no, there's something in there that's gonna fuck us over. So why my, why even go for it? And warlocks don't. I probably don't. Pro, warlocks probably don't even care about this. I'm like, whatever, dog. And titans are really the ones who are like, yes, I got it. Whatever. And I again, I'm on the I'm on the side like I'm jaded. I don't care. I, there's gonna be something that's gonna fuck over hunters. So might as well not even join. But on top of the new playlist, we also get modifiers, which are pretty cool. We get both negative and positive, depending on where you, your class ends up. So gold, for the gold placement, you get health, shields, and recovery are increased. Kinetic weapons deal more damage. That's pretty fucking good. Silver, melee abilities recharge faster. Elemental damage increased from guardian sources. More heavy ammo available. And then bronze is grenade abilities deal more damage and recharge much faster. Elemental dam damage increase from guardian sources. There are also negative modifiers added to the playlist to make things a little more challenging for the leaders. The gold class gets two modifiers and the silver gets one. These modifiers are themed around the classes that finish lower on the podium. So for bronze, titans. So for Titans, the bronze one is combatants melee attacks deal more damage and the silver one is combatants melee da attacks deal significantly more damage. For Warlocks, it's incoming damage increased while airborne and the silver one is in incoming damage significantly increased while airborne. For Hunters, their bronze is radar is disabled and for their silver is radar is disabled and combatants don't flinch when damaged. I think that one sucks more, mostly because there's definitely a lot of enemies that you want to be able to stagger, because if you don't, they'll they'll like melt you down immediately. So this one kind of hurts to see, but we do get radar disabled for bronze, which is essentially nothing. So whatever. So it does really does equalize equal. So the other thing is we get a new metal case from Eva, which essentially means that we have a certain amount of metals that we can put in that box. And once you do have that topped off, you might as well go bank it because if you don't, you actually lose metals. Uh, I don't care about this at all. We have a new contender card this year. We are, we are introducing a new way to earn points for your team called contender cards. You'll be able to pick these up from Eva in exchange for Laura's and can have one active at one given time. Complete objectives and strikes crucible and gambit will grant a gold medal upon completion. There's also a special Platinum Contender card that will focus on completing objectives in Nightfall, Survival, and Trials. This, is, this will be the only way to earn Platinum Medals. Completing a Platinum Medal will earn, will earn you All-Star status and a special reward at the next podium ceremony. Make sure you complete your Platinum Contender card before your daily reset on Friday if you want to lock your All-Star all status for the weekend. Podium Ceremony. So... Every weekend there will be a special ceremony where you will be able to show off a glow from your class item depending on your class standing that week. Third place place or third place receives a bronze glow, second place receives a silver glow, first place receives a gold glow and all stars receive a platinum glow. We will be throwing a special final weekend closing ceremony in the tower that will be live from May 7th to May 11th to celebrate the winning class. So titans you guys get a really cool ceremony congratulations uh rewards as with any event there will be new loot to grab at the start of the event you'll also get a new class item from zavala these are required to participate in the games your class item items will work with this event even though they still are they your your old class items won't work for this event so What's really funny to me, and this is like part of the thing that irks me about events in Destiny 2, is the fact that you'll see scummy shit like this where you're under rewards. Rewards means something that you can do in the game, but they'll show you the fucking Eververse armor, which you can't get in the fucking game. And for the people who are like, well, technically you can get in the game if you have enough bright dust. That's not in the game, my guy. I mean, in the game as in, I, I can get this in the event itself. You can't get this in the event itself. It's part of the Eververse armor set. Now, if and, and only on the fattest of ifs, but if this armor set is available through in-game means as in you can get this in the event and not through bright dust, 
then for sure I will be happy to eat my fucking words. But that's not how it's going to be. It's basically going to be, oh, this armor is part of the Eververse armor, which costs 6,000 Bright Dust. In total, if you play all the classes, that's 1,800 Bright Dust. If you want all of that for each class for money, that's $45 right there. $45 for three armor sets. Now, I will give it to Bungie. They did increase or they did change how the, this armor cha uh, gets shaders. It gets shaders significantly better now, but I'll show you guys, guys that later. The actual rewards for this event will be a sparrow, an exotic weapon that we were able to get last year as the <clears throat> as the reward, which is the heir apparent. If you guys don't know, the heir apparent was available for last year's event reward system. But it was also available through the exotic kiosk in the tower when that got introduced. Now, if you guys don't know, people were able to get the heir apparent and they took that out because everyone, everyone thought correctly that, oh, it's probably for the Guardian Games. They probably want to ha have that for the Guardian Games reward thing, which here it is. And I know people are going to be like, yeah, yeah, but you're getting a new ornament for it and you're getting a new, uh, what's it called? a new uh catalyst for it and a the ornament you're probably gonna have to pay and it looks kind of gross in my opinion and b the catalyst yeah i think that's the only positive thing about this cattle or about this reward is the fact that air parents getting the catalyst i don't know anyone who uses air parent but for the five that do you get an you get a catalyst and if you guys don't know, the catalyst basically gets you a beefier shield. Because if you guys don't know, the air apparent, when you're spinning it, you have a shield. An arc shield. And it basically acts as an enemy shield. If an, if an arc weapon disables your shield, then you actually get more damage towards you. <clears throat> but, so you get a beefier shield and you reload your weapon you auto reload your weapon when your shield is taken down so that's cool i just don't know anyone who uses it in pve pvp probably but at the same time it's just like okay whatever and here is what i was talking about essentially the armor sh is being able to take shaders way better than last year's because last year's <laughs> last year's was horrendous essentially there's a red yellow and blue streak that you cannot change which is a big reason why I laughed at that armor set. This armor set, on the other hand, looks pretty cool. But again, for 1800 Bright Dust or $45, I'm no, no, thank you. Uh, the actual rewards are no, these are Everest pieces. So you can get a ghost, <clears throat> a water bottle ghost, some ships, sparrows, stuff that I don't care about. The only thing I really do care about is this tennis ball ghost, it looks cool. And then bungee rewards, which are not, a, they're not rewards. They're just stuff that you can unlock in the bungee store. Then you can actually spend money on. So again, not rewards. And it bugs me that they have that. Not only from the bungee reward store, but you can also get free emblems. And one of them is from just doing a playlist strike when Guardian Games comes out. The other one is for the seasonal challenges. If you got the last one, then you can get this cool sh shade, or not cool shader, this cool emblem, which does look cool. And that's pretty much it. So let's talk about, <clears throat> let's talk about why I don't like this event. I don't like this event because it, it breeds that, like that superiority class complex that most people have, where it's like, oh no man, hunters are easy mode with all their clutches or crutches like titans that's real skill or some dumb shit like that uh if you think that way bro take it easy man it must be really hard walking with that huge cock i guess i don't know me personally i play every class i see weaknesses and buffs to everyone i might i will say i might crutch a little bit on my hunter or not crutch i might be a little bit more to my hunter like i may see it's <coughs> I will say my hunter is probably a little bit more like my favorite, but that's because I've been playing my hunter since Destiny was a thing. My hunter, my Titan and Warlock really started becoming a thing like, 
I will say I do favor my hunter a little bit more, but you gotta also remember that I've been playing Destiny since Destiny 1 beta, and my Titan and Warlock really didn't start getting played more until like Taken King. That's when I really started to play my hunt, my Titan and my Warlock. My Hunter, I've been I've been maining that fuck since forever. So obviously there's gonna be a little bit of favoritism there, but I always try to be objective as fuck about it. So I don't like that it breeds this like mentality of oh each class is better than the other. And Guardian games definitely, especially when you're in the thick of it, you see a lot of people throwing that shit out, and I don't like that. I I don't think that's great for the game and for Bungie to do this is just kind of like why are you bringing in pr more like not problems because this problem already was a thing but you're amplifying it with a specific thing that's like to that problem so it's just it's kind of like if Bungie were like if someone told hey Bungie there's a really like toxic like classism when it comes to the classes in, in destiny 2 like what should we do let's do guardian games where they have to win to actually prove who's the best and it's like why would you do that let's throw in gasoline into the fire so that's like one of my big issues with it i just it gets really just tiring to hear titans warlocks or hunters saying they're the best when it's like no you like no one's the best like each has their own thing but the other problem I have, the, and it's not even a Guardian Games problem, it's, a, it's a, an event itself problem, is the fact that there's really, ne it's never really worth it to play the event because all the coolest rewards are behind Eververse. Uh, the armors themselves are 15 bucks each, or 6,000 bright dust each, 1,800 for all of the armors, or $45 for all of them. And it gets a real problem when you have events that are like have been going on since forever like the christmas event where i'm not even joking when i say this but currently for the dawning event which is the christmas event if you want to get all of the armor for just one class you're going to be putting down 60 dollars 60 dollars for one for one class mind you 180 dollars for all the classes for just a few armor sets i think the events are just overpriced events that are, mean nothing to the game there's gonna be people that throw money into it and that's like my biggest issue is that just people are really just feeding that and i would love to have these rewards behind the actual event itself but there's just gonna be a lot of people who are just gonna be like well Bungie needs to make money somehow or some other thing and I don't really want to talk about that if you guys want to know my thoughts on the Eververse issue I have multiple videos outlining why I hate Eververse I will gladly make more videos on it if people ask but I one of the biggest issues with events is just Eververse always takes the best things and we never really have anything cool like Again, let me remind you the rewards in the TWAB was showcasing the Everest armor, which you can get in the game, and then showcase what you can actually get in the game, which is a sparrow and an exotic that we already have. That's it. That's it. That's all that you can get. So for them to call Everest purchases rewards is kind of insulting. Because you only get a sparrow and an exotic that you already could get, but they took it out because they wanted to reintroduce it as this year's reward. Just doesn't really excite me. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on my social media, all things are in the description below. That's pretty much it. I have nothing to say about the Guardian games. I will not be participating. I will definitely make videos on it, but I will probably not be participating as hard as like other people will be because why the fuck would I? It's a waste of my time. Like if there was cooler event rewards sure i would definitely do it if the armor was behind some sort of rewards set like thing i would definitely do it if i think there's just so many ifs that i just i know those ifs are never going to happen so i don't even know why i said it so be safe guys again if you are excited about this event don't let my negativity take away from your excitement go ham my guy i don't care if you like it i'm not gonna talk i'm not gonna call you out for liking it it's just my personal opinion about it again i never want to come up come out like oh you're dumb for not liking it or i hate you for not liking it i will never say that because again 
my, my destiny experience is not your destiny experience and ultimately as much as i hate when people buy stuff from the eververse store especially like armors and whatnot i will never call them out because it's the way they're playing the game i can't really blame them for doing that when it's bungie's fault i guess you could say so again if you're excited tell me why in the comments below i'll be happy to talk to you about it i'm not gonna try to talk to you out of it it's just this is how i feel and i wish it was different so be safe guys and i'll see you guys later